All right, so we're looking at this live. We are looking at this live. This is from the FeedHS.com Grand Swiss 2021. By dear Joe Baba, one of the big homies, right? Definitely love his play. And then uh, Jules here, he got a sweet name, bro. Jules. Uh, Moussard. Uh, I think, where's this? France? France. Yeah, he's from France. And this is Georgia, right? Yeah, Bardir Joe Baba. All right, let's check it out. I haven't seen the game. Chat, we haven't seen the game. Or some of you have. I'm about to check it out right now because I've been hearing a lot about this game. Let's see what it is. E4. Okay, E5. Okay, D4. So this is the center game. Yeah, you, this is stuff you ain't supposed to be playing. Okay, you're not supposed to be playing this. So D4, he takes D4, knight F3. It should be four check. Okay, I'm probably playing C3. I'm probably playing C3. I don't think you can uh, turn off the eval bar. I tried to. I remember doing that over here before. It like didn't work. Oh, there it is. We got it. <laughs> Hold up. I think that's because I'm I was on parsec maybe something else. So one 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 time I couldn't do it, but that's very beneficial. Thank you. We got the eval bar off. So right here, obviously this check is annoying. You block the check with bishop d2, knight d2, or c3. If you're going to play a opening like the center game, right? And let's actually can I like move it over here? There we go. So we can't see the text here. So we really want to look at this from the head. So e takes d4, right? Okay, knight f3. So knight f3 happens here. These are all the moves they're showing you, obviously. But knight knight takes d4, queen takes d4. These are all moves that can happen. He plays bishop b4 check, right? And then after bishop b4, you want to block the check, but not with the piece because you want the pieces because you just gambited a pawn, right? You want to keep it cool. In. So he played knight d2, though, right? I would have played c3, to be honest. Let's actually see. I don't want to see. Stats, look at that. Number one move, c3. 35 games. There's only one game, which it might be this one, and knight b to d2 that we're looking at right here. Because now you can't really play c3. That's the whole idea. Okay, d5. So what do we play now, chat? What y'all trying to do? c3 gambiting another pawn right now? Oof. You could. <laughs> Man. It's what a savage. C3, it could be. Takes, 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 takes. Rook B1. You say E5. Bishop, I like Bishop D3. I kind of like A3. But no, nah, he's gone. He could take this. This is a threat right now. Maybe just take it and play Bishop C4. Oh, Bishop C4, Queen takes. That's a blunder. Wow. D5 is annoying. What do we have? Wow. E5 is annoying. I'm really interested in this C3 move, though. I mean, it's all out. And you win the opening, too. Get the bishop off the castle. He, so he just took. He just took on D4. That's the game move. Can't tell that guy is dangerous, Jules. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he is. 26-32, Fide? He just took, bro. He just took on d4 and said, I'm just going to take. Then 97, he went for development. Okay, so I wonder how. Maybe Now I can play c3. This was the whole idea is to play like a c3 move. And then knight f3. Wow, mess chess. Wow. So mess chess says in the analysis, they said because Jules is a Petrov player, Jobava actually avoided it. By playing center game and then knight of three. He's third in France, I guess, after MVL and Ferruccia. Oh my goodness. Right, you better put some respect on this man. Oh, yeah, that man is nasty. All right, so you gotta be careful here. Cool, so after 97, C3 probably. Yeah, C3 blocks it. Just annoying. Okay, so what do I have? Knight B3 looks like the move, hitting the bishop. I like to keep threats up, but this pawn's kind of hanging. So maybe I go back this way. E5 is a move. I like E5. I can put my bishop on D3. Kind of unopposed, unless he takes, but that gives me the bishop pair. 367, 367. We got our pawn back. So I'm not down a pawn, so it's not vital anymore. 
That's not vital anymore. Hmm. Let's see what you play, chat. Knight b3. Okay, knight b3 hit the bishop. Bishop b6, about to play c5. Maybe e5? Bishop g5. Okay, he came out here to g5. He'll move eight, and it's lasted. Like, there's only, like, a few moves left. Castles? I mean, just develop. Pawn takes, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just take the pawn. But wait a second. I can play rookie eight if queen takes. Yeah, I can take this. So now we have move nine. I mean, I could just take that and play queen e2. What happens after? Whoa, this is getting a little bit crazy, y'all. Here, here. We need two. Or maybe he plays. Takes. Rookie eight. We need two. And then what? Oh my goodness, I don't actually know. Queen d7? Castle queenside? Nope. Nope. That don't work. Wow, interesting. Do we take the knight or not take the knight, chat? What do you think? Do we take the knight on e7? Or do we not take the knight on e7? Padere says yes. David B. Zora says no. Can't you check with the queen? Yeah, but I could, I could, if uh, bishop takes e7, queen check, that's actually a blunder because queen e2. And then after queen takes e2, I take with the bishop, and then I can get this bishop out. Close, Anita, though. Close. And Anita, Anita Drake out here pushing. It was rated. Right, out here with the little, no, what about queen e5 and then take the bishop? I hear, I, I see you working. Bruh. Sheesh. Yeah, we don't have to. All right. I think we take the bishop. I mean, the knight. But we did. Okay, so bishop takes c7. Rookie a and a moment of truth. How many moves is left? Okay, there's like four moves left here. There's four moves. And Jobava won in the next four moves. Jobava won. So let's see, chat. It has to be like queen e2. It has to be queen e2, bro. Because what else would you do? Maybe bishop e2? How could he win so quickly without something like queen e2 and him falling into a trap? Him meaning Jules. What do you think, chat? What do you think? What do you think here? This seems... Eval bars off, right? We don't really know. Nothing. Queen e2... Is it? It's just Bishop B two and Castle. Just Bishop B two, Castle. Play it safe. No idea. It doesn't seem like a game winnable in two moves. Well, no, it's actually four moves from here. Eight plot. Eight plot. This move is so nasty. Just want to say that says Mass Chess. Really? Okay. Well, now it got me thinking a little differently. Okay. So is it like? Oh, why do I see it now? Wow, I see it now. It's 92. It's always like that, right? Why is it always like that? It's always like that in your brain. It's got to be like 92. And the reason for it is after queen takes d1, rook takes, and then there's man on the back rank. 92. It's 92, chat. It's 92. <laughs> Sheesh. That's crazy. Knight e2, bro. Knight e2. Because now after queen takes, queen takes, rook d8, and we great. Oh, and that's me. Wow. Okay, so what happened? After knight e2, queen h5. The knight just down a piece out here looking crazy. By the way, this is over the board. By the way, this is over the board. Bruh. Okay, so this is happening over the board. Queen h5. Uh, oh, let me get the moves off again. 
Okay, so queen d2, h6, maybe castle. I'm just out the way. Have a nice day. Oh, wait, wait. The bishop's hanging out, obviously. So we need to move it. Wow, I don't really know how square. Maybe, like, just back it up. Oh, wow, you can't take it. Queen d8. <laughs> Obvious. Knight c6. Now he can take it. Knight f4. Look at the little in-between move. Oh, and that's it. He just resigned. The game is over right here. There is no more game. Knight f4 resides. Get him out of here. Ship him. 14 moves. Yikes. My man said get him out of here. And this is from the jump again. Wow. Well, that's crazy. I mean, if I was a pretty good attack for black, really. Let's see that. So it takes um, after 92, queen f5. Oh, let me turn the engine back. The lines here. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. You see the evaluation? That is amazing. You see how we think differently as humans, right? Because it's like equal somehow. Being up a piece. Very, very like strong. It says queen e5, bishop h4. Queen h5, bishop g3. Knight c6, queen d2. I mean, how is this? Wow. And you have to give some material back. All because all, everything he did was development. You see how fast everything got developed? That's crazy. I mean, this is like every one of your games should be a model game of how to develop, to be honest, here. But what's crazy was um, he missed all of this. He really missed it. You said, why can't he take the bishop? Great question. Um, if you take the bishop, well, first off, well, yeah, let's take here. Take with the bishop, you, you block it with your face, 100%. Um, premium, natural, Cambodian face blockage. After rook d8 here, send a stretcher to his address. We got it on file. Yikes. Bro. Get him out of here. 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 Garbage. 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 Yep. Yep. This is a good game, though. So, honestly, guys... I mean, that's crazy. Like, he played this over the board. This is the center game. Some you do not see ever in life, really. It was really good for him to uh, to get this game and, and a good show for us. And they see that even the GMs losing, like, 14 moves there. So good good game from uh, by Dear Joe Baba, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll see you on the next one.